Reynolds also said she wants to lower the state income tax. She wants to create a 4% flat rate within four years. She said it would save the average Iowa family around $1,300 a year. The governor also proposed ending state income taxes on pensions and retirement accounts. Opponents say the plan is unfair and places a burden on low income earners. Right now, people who earn less than $15,700 a year pay less than 4%. A financial expert told KCCI that eliminating taxes on retirement income could draw more people and keep more people in our state. But you're able to eliminate or not count in your income, your IPERS payment, for example, payment from your 401k, the required minimum distribution that, that uh, those over 72 have to take out of IRAs. All that kind of retirement income is now no longer classified as income to pay state tax on, that could have a huge impact for certain segments of the population. Lawmakers have already made changes to eliminate the tax on Social Security in Iowa. The legislature still would have to approve the governor's proposals.